Hi there and welcome to this brand new SketchUp rendering tutorial using iRender Next. So today I'm going to teach you about a feature in iRender Next which allows you to add blur to your model after you've rendered it using iRender Next which is of course very useful because in that way you can put focus on a certain item which you for instance created. I'm using this model which you see right now that I've created. I'm using this model to explain the concept of depth blur which is the possibility to add blur to your model after you've rendered it. So um, yeah, what it works like. Here I'm going zooming in into uh, yeah these chairs which I've added to the model and I want to put the focus on these chairs. So now I'm first going to render it because this feature allows you to make changes to uh, or it allows you to add blur after you've rendered it. So of course we first got to render it then. Alright so here I am as you can see the model is now rendered it looks perfectly fine but I want to put the focus on these chairs and this table in front of the image in the front, like in the foreground. So in order to do that you click on this button FX and then this uh, wizard opens. It's the image effect uh, wizard and um, yeah in that way you're able to add several effects. You can add haze but also depth blur which is what I'm going to focus on right now. I'll show you haze later on in the video. I'll not go into glare in this video um, and as you can see you can like increase the strength of the blur but in order to increase the strength you've first got to make sure that uh, the program knows what you want the focus to be on so then you click on this button this little arrow over here and then you click in the image somewhere in the image which you want the focus to be on so in this case i'm just going to click on the chair then it recognize this group of chairs and you've got to make sure that blur is on both if you do that and now you change the strength. Now you'll see that the background is actually blurred and the front or the foreground is in focus. So in this case, the table and the chairs are in focus, which is perfect. As you can see, you can change the strength of the blur. So now you nearly don't see uh, the background anymore, or at least not very clearly anymore. But if you decrease it a little bit, still the focus is more on the chairs, but You've also got um, like a little bit more of the surroundings. So in that way you put the focus on what you've created, but still uh, you have the atmosphere of the surroundings, which can be very useful for rendering your model and uh, creating a realistic looking image or a clear looking image. You can also change the location of the blur or actually um, where the blur starts kind of by uh, do, um, changing the in focus zone. Here we've got a one and that causes um, the blur to be in the background so behind the chairs but if you change that to two as you can see it goes a little bit more to the back and in that way if you go up to like let's say seven the blur is like inside the building right now and it's not in the t um, just behind the table so you've got a little bit less blur so in this way you can change um, yeah how far the blur is uh, like behind your object so now it's behind where we used to have it but if we now change it to let's say 0.1 now as you can see the table is slowly being taken up by the blur now it's behind the camera so you don't have any blur anymore but um, if you've got zero, the blur is in front of your object, um, which is not really useful. But for instance, 0.1 causes one chair to be in focus. So in this way, you can uh, change the blur uh, by yourself as well. But using the arrow key causes the program to recognize what you want to have in focus. And that way you can um, yeah, easily have uh, the object you want to be in focus in focus in a good way. Um, so we've also got haze and in order to uh, show what that means uh, I want to go into another view in the model so uh, in that way we go back to scene number one uh, which we also have to render I've rendered it already so now uh, let's look at that so in order to show you what haze looks like or how you can add haze or fog in your model I've decided to showcase the entire house I felt like that would be a better way to showcase it so again you have to click on FX and then this wizard pops up and then you go to haze over here and then you can increase the strength of course and then a haze effect actually occurs of course the stronger 
you put the strength so one is like the strongest you've got very strong haze and if you decrease that a little bit you have less haze which is very obvious and it looks very realistic already but you can also um kind of influence your by yourself where you want the haze to be for instance if you want the haze to be in the background uh, further back then for instance you uh, say far you put it on 70 and then near you put it on 30 which i expect 30 will be behind the building it should be and then um well i should not put on that floor and then now the fog is actually behind the house which you do not really see very clearly but in this way you can uh, change the location of the haze but you can also change the color of the haze so for instance now we've got red haze or fog but you can also uh, let's see what black looks like does that work now it's a little bit darker but it's you know to really add the haze effect uh, using gray is most uh, efficient and it creates the best the most realistic looking image not very dark gray but just light gray color uh, works best so this is another very useful feature so i'm showing depth blur and haze in this video i hope you found it useful and you will now be able to use this uh, when you're rendering your own model so um, as you can see it's very simple you can do it after you've rendered the image which is very convenient because in that way you don't have to think about it yet while modeling the house or while you're still in sketchup but you can just use it or uh, add it while you're in uh, our render next so thanks for watching this tutorial and then i hope to see you back in another one soon